Mate. Yeah. Do us a favour, mate. Just a cup of tea, will ya? Well, I'm a bit busy at the moment, to be honest, mate. What are you doing? I'm a bit busy, aren't I? Anyway, make, make, your, make your own tea. Anyway, you always moan about my tea. Tastes horrible. Blaming it on the water. But it is terrible water up here. No, I've, mate, I've, mate, I've made one anyway. You, oh, you made yourself one, have you? Never <laughs> yeah. make me one, have you? Like water, anyway, you? anyway, you, we're not that hard up, mate. You don't have to drink out of an old tin of castrol. It's you not. Get a, hey? It's a mug, look. It's a mug. Where'd yeah. you get that from, then? That's good, isn't it? That shop, they, uh, that shop on the end at Brands Hatch. Oh, you mean the Alex Reed shop at yeah. Brands Hatch? Yeah, that's that's good, that, isn't it? Look, look, I mean, you can't miss it. It's got a... Yeah, it's you, look, walking right. by, look. I look quite thin, you, look, you do look quite thin, there, <laughs> don't you? Look, yeah, yeah, I'm quite surprised. Let's go in the shop, look, and see, because I reckon they do loads of stuff in there, don't they? Well, they do all sorts. They do printing, obviously they do the mugs. They do, do everything. They do all the yeah. Ferrari stuff and yeah. all the team racing. They even yeah. do all the actual like pit lane team yeah. stuff, don't they? Yeah, they do. You know, the actual shirts. I've got a feeling they do Accelerate team stuff. But what I like about it, it's like a, a plastic that's sort of welded into the cotton. It's not like the transfers you get and it all comes off. It's all, yeah. it's all yeah. cut of stuff. It's yeah. really good and, stuff. and I can just about see these. I know yeah. I'm short, but they do all these pictures up on the top. Yeah. That's, that's nice. quite a nice picture of uh, Schumacher at... Uh, is that yeah. Monaco? Yeah, so that's Monaco. Monaco. Yeah, that'd look good in the workshop, that wouldn't it? it yeah, would. plenty of hats. Look, keep your head warm. Plenty of tips. We're thinking about getting some stuff done there ourselves because they do minimum as well. You can, if you want one hat done, they do one hat, won't they? Yeah, all custom so, stuff. Yeah, yeah their helmets they've made and that. Uh, they're like replica helmets, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they look good and all. I like them. I like them. But yeah, look, loads of stuff in there. Loads of stuff. But as you say, they they do all like custom made stuff, don't they? Yeah. T-shirts and polo yeah. shirts and everything. Yeah, they're really so good. they're they're well worth a contact. I'll, I'll yeah. put the um, link to their website yeah. um, in in the descriptions yeah. of this video. So if anybody wants to go on their website and have a look. But they do loads of stuff. They do all the race stuff and yeah, everything. Like. Race gear, so I, I don't they know do. if they do boots big enough for your feet, but they might no. do. You never know. You never know your luck. See the, the Janetta that was in there? Right. That we just saw. I think it's his son races that, or someone uh, related to that. And that. He did the minis beforehand, I think, and right. that bumper comes off his, that was his mini, I uh, think. Well, there you go. But anyway, well worth going if you're visiting Brands Hatch. Get some great stuff in there, and you can get them mugs. Yeah, brilliant. Any mug, they do center mugs, they do all sorts. Yeah, actually, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, no, it's good in that shop. But uh, mind you, last time we was at Brands Hatch, you were, you went off and had a chat with someone, didn't you? You were gone ages. Yeah, weren't you? That, was at, that was at the same week, uh, same day as the fastest mini we did. Yeah, who was um, he talked to? Uh, then? It was um, Alistair, the, the stunt driver. Oh, the, the mini yeah, stunt the mini driver, bloke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I well, let's... I can remember, remember his surname. Yeah, well, there was not much going in the workshop today, is there? So let's go over to. Let's go over to that interview that Adam did with the stunt. There was two, weren't there? There was two blokes, yeah, weren't there? Yeah, there was two. There was his, his um, mate who moved to Ca uh, Ca uh, Canada who was doing um, Mini Challenge Rally, which is obviously the same as what we're doing, the R50, but the, the rally... Oh, yeah, yeah, and you looked at all his car, didn't you, yeah. and all that, yeah. So, anyway, well, let's go over to that, then. Let's yeah. go over to that. How's it going? <laughs> Good, thank you. <laughs> stunt driving, people. Probably the best stunt driver in the country, would you say? Uh, I've got... Uh, well, I mean that's for people, people to decide. I've got the most. I've got the most. most I'm glad world, you I've got, I've I'm got glad the most. You didn't say yes. I've got the most world records. Yeah. What so, world records have you got? So, oh, okay, I've got 13 current. So, 13. Uh, yeah. So I've got the full set of parallel part ones: single, double, triple, reverse, narrow scap driven through on two wheels, the single, the double, um, narrow 360 degree spin. Um, some donut ones in there and everything. So it's all precision stuff is really what I, what I look to do. Uh, a lot of it's been achieved in the, in the good old faithful classic mini. Um, the one, one the only uh, exception to that really is the uh, uh, tightest parallel part record, which um, it surpassed what a classic mini was physically able to do on its size. Yeah. And we uh, went for a Fiat 500. Yeah, and so, the distance between the cars. Uh, less than a cross diagonal of post-it note, so 7.5 centimetres combined gap front and rear. 7.5 so. centimetres. So it's a what's, long, what it's speed are you hitting there? The, 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 for, the forward oh, one's probably... It was, a, it was the NEC um, uh, like, um, Autosport yeah, show. So yeah, so it was, so it was, it was quite a slippery surface there and that. So uh, yeah, I don't know, like mid-twenties probably, something like that. In a, in, a, in a really dimly lit, yeah. you know, room, <laughs> thousands of people watching, trying to make it exceptionally hard, you know, yeah? yeah. 
<laughs> taking them something really hard and turn it into impossible a bit. So what would you say is the most difficult thing for you to do? I mean, we've all had about handbrake turns and all that sort of thing, and it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a it is an art form. It, what it, would you say it, is, is the a, most difficult? It thing? is an art. The handbrake turn in parallel park is an art form, but you uh, you can you can get to a point on that where I can I can teach a, I could teach you to get it to a certain a certain distance, and then and then from there you you're looking at loads of little minimal inputs thereafter really so yeah. but after that um yeah the reverse parallel park yeah. that's yeah. that's 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 a tricky one that's yeah you try you're 41 mile an hour facing the wrong direction and flinging the car around and and then trying to do a parallel park as well so i don't think i could teach you to do that no no, no. which one would you say you enjoy doing the most the two wheeling two, two wheeling, wheeling. Yeah. It's, it's 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 it it's i describe it as like driving an oil tanker you know it's like it, it's got a turning circle of an oil tanker when you're up on two wheels but it's so hard and it's so, so is it speed critical it is yeah um and for all the films that you would have seen it's been sped up yeah. it is like optimum speed is just That's like 15, 15 15 15 20 mile an hour tops for that really so yeah. it's uh it, yeah, and but you it's, actually steer it on the steering wheel, or is it weight? Or so it's a combination of steering input and throttle. So if you got, if you lift it off on the throttle, the car will come down. Yeah, you so need the gyroscopic effect of everything yeah, so rotating. If it starts to drop, you speed up. And <clears throat> you speed up and you turn into it, so you want it to fall over. Okay. Okay. It's 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 so alien, and that and uh, it's the only thing that. I've learnt it now, so I'm on the low side, so the passenger side of the car is up as high as it goes. Now, I could never jump in a left-hand drive car and go low side, for example, because all my steering inputs would be reversed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's, it's difficult work, it's, you know, the way around is yeah. it's impossible. Which world record would you say you're most proud of? Uh, the reverse parallel park. Yeah, that was that was yeah. that was the one. It within the first week, it, we we did over 100 million views on that. Over that was that was released from Guinness. They did it copyright free, so that went out through BBC and ITV, and they they put us over 100 million for that. So uh, in, a, in, a, in a week. In a week. Yeah, so yeah. So uh, um, it would be quite nice if I had monetised that and earned yeah. some money off that. Cool. But I got I got a certificate yeah. to say I'd got it. Yeah. So it's cool. Yeah. Where's that? Don't tell me it's in the loo. No, you can't put stuff like that into it. So no, no, uh, yeah, no, it's on the lab. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, yeah brilliant. So. it's brilliant. So have you got any other plans, any more records? Yeah, so I'm uh, planning to do another world record this year, later on this year, a two-wheeling one. Um, it's not it's not been signed off yet by Guinness, so it'll, it'll be a new one and it'll be... It, it's so a, you hold the distance for two-wheeling? I hold the, the uh, maximum uh, distance. So, so the, there's a few records for that. So the two, three I hold on two wheels are the narrowest gap driven through whilst on two wheels in a car. And then I've done it a, a single and then a double, which is my brother was driving a Mini and we both went through a gap. And then, uh, I know, I know, and it's all my cars. It's only my stuff, so it's only going to get damaged, yeah. Um, and then I've got, uh, I've got the world record for the most amount of donuts whilst the car is being driven on two wheels and my brother donutted around me. So we got up to 10. We've got 10 oh, on I never that, even so. thought of that one. Yeah, I mean, so I've seen the donuts with people standing on it. Uh, oh, yeah, so, what, so what's the car driving on? Driving so he's on, driving two, on two wheels. I'm driving on two wheels, and, 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 two wheels. And, I, and he's doing donuts around me whilst I'm on two wheels. And he has to keep it a continuous, the car can't gain any grip. And that, so it has to just keep spinning the wheels, r rotating, yeah. So there's a few there's a few other world records I've done, maybe not done as, as looked as good. Um, They've not been, they've not made the edit floor as well as they should have done. So we did a lot for a, a remake of a program which was uh, officially amazing, uh, which was a modern day take on record breakers, oh, and, yeah. and that's yeah. that's where it all started from really. Yeah. Um, that's I got asked, could I beat the parallel park record, and I said, well, this German guy holds it at the minute. Well, I can't see why I can't beat him. So, uh, um, and uh, it went from there really. So that's that was in 20 end of 2012. So yeah, so we have 12 films. Years. Any films? Done any film work? I've done uh, adverts and stuff like that. So um, I've got no desire to ever uh, jump off the Grand Canyon and all that right. kind of stuff. So my stuff's precision stuff, really. Um, yeah, I do the adverts and all that kind of stuff. But when it comes to the big film sets and all that, most of it's sort of CGI. Didn't know a lot of it. Yeah, so it's it's, it's a bit of a dying art, really. And uh, you know you. 
the modern day cars lend themselves less and less to what, what we're trying to do. So some of these records might stand for a good length of time anyway. You know, running a classic Mini, you can't get much more sustainable than that. You know, it's like built in 1959, some of the components on it probably are. You know, we're running row lubricants as well in it, which is obviously the most sustainable oil you can get in it. Yeah, it can't be row I mean, oil. No, it's best. No, yeah, so, I mean, uh, it's probably not the best advertisement for uh, for their oil in the fact that my engine is a, is a little bit smoky. It's won all the championships. It's, it's and it, helping it. It's it's helping it. it. Well, I always say it'll never seize. It'll no. never seize. It's done 15 years and I don't take it easy on it. So, and I've not, I've not, I've not rebuilt it since. So it's, uh, it's, done, it's done well on, uh, yeah. on what it is. Fine. Yeah, so you know, thanks for coming yeah, over and nice having a chat. And enjoy it's the rest of the day here yeah. at beautiful Brand Touch. Oh, nice stuff. Thank, right, you. thank you. Cheers. So, Now, there's something else very different. We're here <laughs> now with Owen Kuehl. Did I pronounce that right? You did pronounce that right. Yeah, yeah. Kuehl. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. This is another R50, Mark. Mark! <laughs> uh, but this is something different here. It is. If you could explain exactly what it is to everybody, they might guess it a little bit because of the two seats. Uh, yes, they might yes. It. There's they two might seats different. and a big roll cage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, what you're looking at is an R50 uh, rally car. This is a stage rally car. Uh, so I have a co-driver with me. Uh, we have helmets on, the full bit, going through the forest, a la Colin McRae from back in the mm -hmm. day. Yeah. Um, but this is the Mini Rally Challenge, and it's a series designed as a low-budget series. I actually built this car in my driveway for about 5,000 pounds, including the spec kit. Um, which is not a lot. That's, that's and um, I drove it 120 miles here today. Um, and the challenge itself has, uh, we have five tarmac rounds and five gravel rounds. And it's depending on your budget. I'm only doing the, the, the asphalt. Uh -huh. yeah. um, some of the guys are only doing gravel and some are doing both. Um, but after three rounds, and the R, I'm actually leading the R50 in hey. points. Oh, yeah. And, um, yeah, in the championship. Yeah. But because it's so low budget, and I still have to save money for the entry fees and things, it's it's gotten me back in the round. Again. That's good. Yeah, so that's what needs. I mean, motorsport needs it. Motorsport needs cheap championships, where a lot of them aren't. They just start off cheap, and then all of a sudden, cost, as we've found out ourselves, costs tend to start rising. And then yeah. by the time you've got around to nearly finishing the car, the cost is just rocketed out. Or oh, oh, before. No, the, the great thing about this is, other than the brake pads, and the suspension, which are challenge specification, yeah. uh, developed by John Goff. Um, so they Mintex pads, yeah. Uh, we have Mintex yeah. is is supported series, so we actually have 1166 in the front, oh, right, yeah. 1144s in the back. Yeah, yeah. Standard discs, standard everything else. Um, the suspension is BC Racing. It's it's been uh, especially valved in that for the challenge, but it's the same suspension whether you're doing tarmac or gravel, oh, right, okay. uh, long track. I hope it costs of it actually. It, it, it does. Yeah. It's it's sort of the, the whole package. Uh, they're very good, very reliable. Um, so. They've lasted a while, so it keeps the cost down again. Yeah. For the R50, our tires are about 45 pounds each. That's not bad either. No, no. I mean, the tires on this car have done all all three asphalt rounds this year so far. And you've plus, it, you've driven plus, here on them. Plus, I've driven you've it driven here on them. I'll drive back on them. <laughs> um, I've taken it to the shops occasionally and, and things like that because... The, the modifications are very limited or very restricted from a performance standpoint, so the car is still very, very usable. Yeah, because there are only, what, 130? You're allowed to play with them at engine management? Uh, we are allowed. I haven't. No. They come as standard at 115. Yeah. Uh, I, it, the rules do allow us to for a remap if yeah. we want so with we the standard. Yeah, so we can remap ours to 135, I think. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. But we're allowed, um, we can change the exhaust from the catalytic converter back, yeah. and we can change the airbox to, you know, we want to put a cone filter on yeah, things so have you like put that. a straight three exhaust on it have you changed that or not uh, I have a catalytic converter yeah. um, I still I have no resonator and I have a repackable huh. box and I moved it to the center yeah. so yeah. instead of the side yeah. exit Yeah. so um, but other than that see and the bushes I got rid of the bushes and put yeah. in um, you know non-robert poly bushes um, and just the rest of it is just safety. Uh, I've been very, very safety conscious. I've been, I've been around motorsport a long time, and safety is priority. So I spend a little bit more in the seats, but 
I feel that that was a worthwhile investment. So. A good mate was worth well spoken. Yeah. Well, Owen, I mean, it's been a pleasure talking to you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. It's unexpected, but it's a nice, it's a nice surprise. Well, yeah, and it snuck it in, so <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I, yeah. it's, it's sort of uh, place, yeah. the background for the stunt show yeah. today. Yeah. Row Oil have saved us today. We've had a lot of interviews <laughs> thanks to Row Oil. <laughs> yeah, a good company, you know, yeah, environmentally oil. friendly. Yeah. Plant exactly. Based, so, um, yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to using the plant-based stuff. I think, you know, I think yeah. it's very good. But no, thank anyway, you thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you. Right, thanks for watching this week's episode. Yeah. Thanks very much. Yeah. Uh, now, do you want to do your um, light and subscribe? Because you love doing a bit oh, of your yes. light and um, subscribe, don't you? Thanks, everybody. Uh, thank you for being patient with us. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Press the notification bell and they'll tell you when there's an episode out. Makes your bell ring, doesn't it? Makes your bell ring, yes. And everyone loves their bell being rung, don't they? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Make sure that's recording. Start again. It was a good trial run, no? It's exactly what we wanted. <laughs> well, celery, celery. If she don't touch a particular with a stick of celery.